Hello and welcome to part 6 of Microsoft Excel 2010 VBA Programming for Beginners. Now in the last video I explained how to highlight an item when a certain criteria was met without using conditional formatting and what we did is we looked for the value Edinburgh and we made it, we highlighted it yellow and we made the font bold. In this case what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar except we're not going to highlight any kind of fields, we're just going to delete the row. So I'm going to be using the same code. I'm going to be going to Design Mode from Developers tab. Double click the command button that we had already created in the previous video. The only thing that I have done is I have already removed the code that highlighted the, the cell and made the font bold. We're, we're still using the same code that we created in the very beginning. The only thing that I'm going to modify is just the if statement. So we still have the if statement where we're looking at mailing address city data. If it contains the string Edinburgh, then, then we're going to put some code here. This is what we're going to be changing. So what we're going to do is we're, we're working with sheet one. You're going to do sheet one dot range. Actually, it's going to be, I'm sorry, dot rows. And usually the way this works, if we wanted to delete row two, you would put two colon two, double quote and parentheses, and you just do dot delete. That's if you just wanted to delete row two, but we don't want to just delete row two. We want to delete the row that's currently being reviewed that meets this criteria where Edinburgh has a position of one or more. So we want to delete anything that contains that has Edinburgh. So we're going to remove the first double quote and of course the number two and we're going to replace that with row number. We'll do the ampersand, you have to do an open quote, colon, and qu double quote, another ampersand, and then the row number. Delete the two and the double quote, leave the close parentheses, dot delete. Now, just kind of think like, like a computer, because we are deleting one row number, we're going to have to go one back, because if we don't, we're going to be skipping lines. So here we're just going to put row number is equal to row number minus one just to reset the counter to compensate for the row that we deleted. And so now I'm going to go on and close this code out. Go close out the Visual Basic environment. Go back to my workbook. And so now this time the only thing that I've done again is I replaced the code that was highlighting it and making it bold. And all I did was replace it with this code right here. Deleting the row and then putting row number back one to compensate for the row that we deleted. So let's try this code out and see if it works. We're going to go to go to the developers tab, take us out of design mode and then click the command button. So there it's working. And it's still going and now complete it. So if I scroll all the way down, go through all of my data, I don't see any more Edinburgh cities and I definitely don't see any of them highlighted. So the code did work properly and that was uh, completing uh, this portion, this series of Microsoft Excel 2010 VBA programming for beginners. I hope you found these videos helpful. Thank you for watching.